Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue circle uh, with the center O fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the circumference uh, of this uh, blue circle uh, is uh, 320 pi whereas the perimeter of this uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 2016. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length of this uh, triangle uh, AC is uh, represented by X uh, units. And these uh, points uh, D, E and uh, F uh, are our points of uh, tangency. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, side length uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, the radius of this uh, blue circle as uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, radius r. And now we have been given uh, the circumference of this uh, blue circle is 320 pi. And now let's recall the circumference of a circle formula. Circumference equals to 2 pi times r where r is the radius of the circle. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and equate this uh, 2 pi r equal to 320 pi. So therefore, I'm going to write down uh, 2 pi r equal to 320 pi. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 pi to isolate r. This 2 pi and 2 pi is gone. So our radius r is going to be this pi and pi is uh, gone. So this turns out to be 160 units. So thus the radius of this uh, blue circle turns out to be 160. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, side length uh, BC of this triangle uh, as uh, lowercase a and the side length uh, of uh, this AB as lowercase uh, b. And now I'm going to connect uh, this center O with these uh, points of tangency D, E and uh, F as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and we can see that this OF, uh, OE and OD are the radii of this uh, blue circle. And we know our radius is 160 so therefore all of them going to be 160 each. And now let's recall uh, the circle uh, theorem. The angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be equal to 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram. So no wonder all these angles are going to be 90 degrees each since these are all our tangent uh, lines. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, square BFOE. So therefore all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal so therefore this side length is going to be 160 and this side length uh, eb is uh, 160 as well and now let's make an observation we know that this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, b and this uh, side length eb is uh, 160 so therefore uh, this side length uh, ae is going to be b minus uh, 100 and uh, 60 and likewise let's focus on this uh, side length uh, bc is a whole uh, a and this side length uh, bf is 160 so therefore uh, this side length uh, fc is going to be a minus uh, 160 and now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent uh, segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point uh, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram and now let's focus on our own uh, diagram we can see that this uh, OE is uh, congruent to this uh, AD so they are uh, equal in length we know that this uh, side length is uh, B minus 160 so therefore uh, this uh, side uh, AD is going to be B minus uh, 160 as well and likewise uh, this uh, side uh, length uh, FC is going to be congruent to this uh, CD so therefore uh, they are going to have uh, equal uh, 
length as well. If this uh, side length is a minus uh, 160, then uh, this uh, CD length is going to be a minus 160 as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, side length uh, AC is uh, x and this uh, part of this uh, side length AD is uh, b minus 160 and uh, this uh, side uh, DC is a minus 160. In other words, x is going to be the sum of uh, these uh, two individual uh, lengths. So let me go ahead and write down x is going to be equal to a minus uh, 160 plus uh, b minus uh, 160 as well. Now let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms. So x is going to be equal to a plus uh, b minus uh, 320. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. We know that the perimeter of this uh, red triangle is uh, 2016. And we know that the perimeter is just simply the sum of these uh, all uh, side lengths. A plus uh, B plus uh, this side length uh, X. So therefore I'm going to write down A plus uh, B plus uh, X is going to be our perimeter. And we know that we can set this one equal to 2016 that has been given to us. So I'm going to write down 2016 over here. Now let's go ahead and move X on the other side. So therefore A plus B is going to be equal to 2016 minus uh, X. Now let's revert our attention back to equation uh, 1 which is right here. And here I have copied down this uh, equation 1. We know our uh, A plus B value is uh, 2016 minus X. So therefore I'm going to replace that value over here. If we substitute uh, I can replace this one by 2016 minus uh, x. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this a plus b by 2016 uh, minus x. And here's our next step. Let's move this uh, x on the left hand side. So this is going to give us uh, x plus x equal to 2016 minus uh, 300 and 20. So therefore we are going to have uh, 2x uh, equal to 1696 on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, x and we can see that this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 848 uh, units. So thus our side length uh, x value turns out to be 848 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.